To the latest now on the crisis at the U.S. Capitol, two people from our area have been arrested in connection with the riots that broke out on January 6th. Law enforcement sources have now confirmed that this man, George Riley, is now under arrest. His case is under seal and the U.S. Attorney's Office is not commenting on the case. But we do know that Riley was the former president of the Sacramento Republican Assembly, which is an activist group. He had been forced to resign after backlash over his involvement in that riot. Case every three investigative, investigative reporter Brittany Johnson joins us now with information on that second person who was arrested, Brittany. Well, her name is Valerie Elaine Erke, and she appeared by Zoom in a federal Sacramento courtroom this afternoon. Now, she did not have much to say during her first court appearance, but when the judge asked her if she had plans to attend some scheduled demonstration set for tomorrow at California State Capitol, she responded with two words. Absolutely not. Now, federal law does prevent us from recording today's hearing, but we do want to pass along a recap. So today, a judge did restrict Valerie Elaine Erke to local travel, the area covered by Eastern District Federal Court. She is not allowed to board an airplane. Erke is not allowed to go to California State Capitol as she was allegedly part of the crew that broke into the U.S. Capitol, according to the judge. Within the next few days, Erke will be processed by the marshal's office. The judge also said he cannot take away Erke's First Amendment right, but strongly cautioned against any use of social media while this case does go on. So how do we get here? According to an FBI affidavit, agents were made aware of a video posted to a Facebook page with the name Valerie Elaine Erke. Now, the video showed a group of people entering the U.S. Capitol building with the caption reading, quote, We made it inside right before they shoved us all out. I took off when I felt pepper spray in my throat, LOL. Now, here's a screenshot from the video, which is also included in the affidavit. Now, another video, again from the first person perspective, shows people walking through an area which the FBI does believe to be in the streets of the District of Columbia. The caption to the video reads, quote, B Squad getting it on the way to the Breach Capitol building. A screenshot of that video is on your TV screen right now, and it's also in the affidavit. Now, Erky is facing a long list of charges for this case, and KCR3 Investigates did uncover a criminal history for Erky dating back to 1992. Now, her next court appearance is scheduled for Monday, January 25th. Back to you in the studio.